There we go. Alright. Oh, I forgot us. I need to switch my, uh... Oops. Uh, sanctuary. My sanctuary. Oh, sorry. Uh, sanctuary. RNG. Zoo. Closed quest. Water. <laughs> there we go. Change to save. There we go. Oh yeah, Zuko is still very much alive. It, it, actually, my uh, longest running character so far, currently. Oh, uh, I also got you this really kick-ass weapon that has like 133 attack compared to that 40 attack sword that we had earlier. here. Got powerful items. Oh, I could break it if I do this. Nah, I'm not gonna risk it. Uh, do I want to make another charm? Uh, I'll go save. I I'll go wait a little bit. Where that legendary? Don't remind me. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, I think uh, I think you left when I got it, Skara. So basically, I got like this like super legendary tier weapon that like had special music playing. I was like, oh my gosh, legendary idol, and it was for the wrong weapon type. So I, I just scrapped it. <laughs> I had to scrap it. Yeah. Oh, somebody killed the guardians. Confirm. I oh, know he's not close enough so I can grapple. There we go. You imparted how you look on Zuko. Turn off your, my barrier. Oh, I guess I'll wait to turn. Wait my turn then. Oh, suplex! <clears throat> After witnessing the fate of the comrades, the rest of the hooded creatures flee from the room in panic. You place the glowing orbs in the plinth. The portal grows in size, becoming wide enough for you to step through. You enter. Not sure what you'll face on the other side. For your sanity's sake, you hope that it's nothing too horrifying. See you, unlock two new abilities. Sacrifice on bloodthirst. Crafting kits have been unlocked for your crafting pleasure. Uh, well, let me check my uh, character real quick. Uh, where, where were the things that I got? 
Right, where to say my abilities are? No. No, those are my base stuff. Wait, what do those things do? Find some books for extra experience. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste too much though. So, Smithy, what do you have? A lot of nothing. Temple. Nothing. Uh, shed. Oh, yeah, I need to check my, uh. You assemble a shield. Which, uh. Not worth the stat loss. Uh, oh yeah, it's nighttime. I should sleep, right? Because uh, the undead get stronger if you fight in the nighttime, which is not pleasant because you don't get any bonuses for defeating enemies in the nighttime like that. At least to my knowledge. Oh, it's still nighttime? was a paladin or a wizard, then sure I'd take that, but no. Hmm, more soul shards, plants. Wait, dampen. Chance to either increase or decrease durability by 10%. Uh, sure, I'll try that. Oh. I lose out all my vitality though. Oh, that extra strength could be so good, but no. Hey. No, no good rolls so far. I try it again. Hey. Man, I lose my vitality though. Like, at least getting vitality plus dex or strength. These are getting to be really good though. Was it, what did he do again? So, what if I try Rumble? Actually, no, not right now. I have a lot of. Uh, 
Uh, I don't think that was worth it. More in- oh my god, no. That poor looks nice, but no. Oh, I have people at the tavern. Disappointing. Uh. Yeah, I'll just drink a few beers to entertain the guests here. I'm gonna drink a little more. God damn. These people are so stingy with the gifts. Now I'm gonna go grind on a uh, one more thing here. Okay, so a syringe can be found lying on the ground. Inject myself or tiptoe away. Uh. Let's see. You inject yourself if you feel uneasy and vomit out of rawhide. Hey. Whoa, 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 what the? Yeah, it is way too risky. I'll have to use my ultimate here. This is not a rare drop. Like the the defense roll is making this less appealing, as much as that dex helps. No. As much as I wanted that. Six. Uh, we should grind a little bit. Hey, well, that was a huge crit. Shield. Uh. Nope. Now I'll go try level grind for one more level. Oh, what do we find? That would be so good if I was a wizard. Like. Extra in. Okay, wait. Might no check the defense formulas actually. Uh, combat mechanics. No, not that. Uh, was it armors? Wait. So total mitigation is armor defense. Step two barrier stack.
armor passive. Shield value. Okay, so I don't get any bonus from shield value. So charm so charm defense and armor defense. They seem to matter quite a bit, I think. It's really hard to tell. Good stash. Open up some nice gifts. Garbage. Ooh, it's okay. Okay. Oh, I can activate our mission. Looking for one mithril. That would be nice, but that's not a dagger of sword. Shack. Uh no, no, that's a heavy shield. No, that would give me a penalty. Yeah, actually no, that's actually a straight downgrade. Oh, I got my hopes up there for all that music. Yeah, good night. Bear with me, I'm gonna be crafting some more because I'm really paranoid about taking more damage without with just 20 defense at this point. I saved it, but that was not worth it. Okay. Now I'll let the spam crafting commence for better armor. Actually, I'll do my charm first. They love all my skill. Uh, vamp, life steal on hip, but drains one percent of max HP per turn. Ah, uh, so the strength is better, lose out on my decks, gain wisdom which is mana regen per turn, two defense. Ah, uh, I'll have to say no. Not again. Uh, 
Wait, so chance to increase quality by 10%. Interesting. This is awesome! <laughs> I'll take it. So that's like 80 plus vitality and switch the strength with uh, dex and you get like bonus crit, more damage and evasion. It's still light armor and better defense. Oh my god. Worth. Okay, let's see how, how, how lucky we can go with this. We're off to a good start. <laughs> uh, how much would this... Oh. Oh! Let's not risk it anywhere though. Uh when your roleplay character is more luck than you. Uh that would be nice, but we lose out on all that. Mm. Oh crap, uh, I went a bit too far. That was really bad. Close status though. Oh, well, that's enough crafting. <laughs> this would be so much better if the attack was better. Rare ones. Oh my! <laughs> Stop playing with me, game. enough wasting. Uh, okay, I'm really scared about this. You jump into the glowing portal that forms in the middle of the room. Before you get the chance to lament your, upon your poor life choices, you feel a su sickening lurch in your stomach as you're pulled forward in time and space. Welcome to my lair. The mysterious voice emanating from the darkness startles you. You raise your weapon, hands trembling. 
I will give what you seek. This voice is so deep and penetrating that your bones throb in agony and pleasure. I mean, what? Your feet are rooted to the spot as if they are fused to the floor beneath you. The Brotherhood have sent you, did they not? You seek to destroy my master. What then do you know of Cyrus? Cyrus the Magnificent, conqueror of the Demonic Legion, champion of West Haven. He had defeated the Matron and imprisoned her in a crystal containing her soul. The Cyrus I knew was a, uh, was a vain and arrogant man with a gilded charm and tongue of silver. His sins are many and grievous. And you are the champion of his cause, and yet you remain ignorant. Do you know why the Brotherhood has chosen you? Was it because of your strength? Your skill with the blade? Your command of powerful magics? Or is it because of your charming good looks, Vinzuko? I mean... <laughs> oh yeah, the, definitely your charming good looks. The Fallen steps forward into the light. She is a tall statuesque woman clad in the finest golden armor her wings clad in feathers of brilliant white mithril carry her high into the air the fallen's daughter er, the fallen's laughter rings out in the darkness high and clear it is because you are easily deceived you believe in what the brotherhood tells you and you obey without question and in the end you are easily disposed of Fallen Divination Meter it increases every time you heal. If you cast your ultimate, the meter will deplete. If the meter is filled, the boss will heal for a larger amount. Oh, so I have to manage my healing. Oh my god. That wasn't really my thing. Killing is too darn fun. Oh god. Oh, I got a lot of work ahead of me. Power of the matron be healed. Wait, what? She fully healed us? Wait, I didn't even heal. You know what, this is a good time as any to use my ultimate. But I should be cursed. Oh! God! That 60 combo stack though is actually pretty nice. Yeah, I'd be a hero too if I could respawn, dies forever. The Fallen smashes into the ground in a heap of dented armor, her twitching wings bent and splayed in different directions. No, please, forgive me, Master. I tried. You stare into her mournful, pleading eyes before plunging your blade downwards between her collarbones. You slow turn as the Fallen's last breath vacates her mortal shell. The entire room is bathed in a bright white light. You never hear the explosion coming. Explosion. The Fallen has been defeated. Seek refuge in the cold city of Kaldora. Take down the Keeper of Souls. The sands of time return, er, are slowly swirling beneath your feet. Seek their wisdom. Listen to them. Hear their cries. Let them guide you to your ashes. Use them wisely. Okay, you unlocked a heal perk. Can only be used once per battle. Um, if enemy is marked, consume mark. Okay, I don't mark. If enemy is bleeding, double bleed stacks. If your current health is fifty below fifty percent, restore your mana. I think like blood pact. Ooh, new character or oh yeah because I be act oh yeah this is act one nice
Act one complete. A. The campfire burns bright and warm. You and the blacksmith stand in opposition with the comforting flame dancing between you. Oh, you're a nosy one, aren't you? The blacksmith looks deep into the campfire, the flickering spirits reflecting off his somber eyes. I suppose we've been traveling long enough, and we're going to keep going until the matron is dead. The blacksmith takes in a deep breath and sighs. Have I told you about my family adventure? The blacksmith begins speaking, his words at first a trickle, and then a downpour, filling your mind with a world from the past. Have you ever been to Silverport? It is... was a beautiful place. The Brotherhood naval ship set sail into Port da would set sail into Port Daly. You should have seen how their cannons glinted against the morning sun. Your mind fills with the hustle and bustle of a busy town port. The sun's early rays cast themselves over the bay. The Brotherhood presence made people feel safe. Merchants from all over flocked to the bazaar. Stall after stall. Vendors as far as the eye could see. If ever there were a city of life and prosperity, Silverport was it. The blacksmith is hard at work, t taking hammer to anvil. The glow of the forge and bright flashes of sparks fills the shop. I moved there as a young blacksmith to, take a na to make a name for myself. As a young woman enters the shop, uh, her eyes light up at the sight of the blacksmith. She leans against the doorframe and smiles. Instead, I find a wife and a family. The sun sets over the rooftops of Silverport. All is tranquil. The naval fleet is docked. The market stalls are closing. Only a few people shuffle about in the streets. I was happy for a long time until the attack. One of the buildings near port catches fire. Then another, and then another. We were safe, sure. The fleet protected an attack from the sea and our walls protected us from a frontal assault. Chaos abounds. Monsters and demons flood the street, surging and engulfing all life in their path. But they came from the depths of the earth itself, attacking us from the sewers. The young blacksmith rushes to the front of his shop, burning the debris bars his entrance. In the streets, monsters gut men like fish and drag the women deep into the sewers. Oh, what could I do? I was just the blacksmith. Fire consumes the town of Silverport and reaches its way to the boats to the harbor. One by one, the, the Brotherhood's fleet drops below the waters of the bay. I'd like to say that I resisted, that I took up arms and defended my home as best I could. But I didn't. I ran. My, my family. They, they never had a chance. The blacksmith's silence brings you back into the present. He stares into a fire, his eyes wet and lost within his own memories. The matron, or, the matron is evil. I didn't need to lose my family to know that. But now you know. The blacksmith takes in a deep breath and holds it. His exhale seems to take with it the very weight of his past. I just thought you should know. God damn, for a rogue like that was it's a pretty heavy story.
first we got beer to serve. Oh wait, I should probably start drinking. Ah, oh, shit. So, uh, guys, there's, uh, something you should know about, um, drinking too much. Oh, wait, uh, let me go sleep real quick. Yeah, is that still my time? Uh, one second. I'll go explain it real soon. Let me get some sleep. Actually, wait, did, did it wear off because, uh... Oh, oh crap, we're getting my story. Uh, oh, okay, actually, uh, if I did enter the battle drunk, that would have been really bad for this fight. <laughs> oh god. As you came to, as you come to, you slowly pick yourself up off the ground. Your entire body aches, your ears are ringing, bits of clothing are smoking and charred, your throat is parched from the flash burns. You pick yourself up and, and look around. You seem to be outside of what was once a great city, reduced now to crumbling concrete and twisted steel. This must be Kaldora, the place the blacksmith was talking about. There are robots everywhere, most of them are powered off. Others mindlessly moving back and forth in a fixed pattern or traveling erratically, bouncing off the walls and other robots. Not taking any chances, you draw your weapon and move carefully towards the city. You really don't know, uh, don't want to go through this a second time. But it seems like a familiar figure is blocking the only gate into the city. Prepare to die once more into the breach. Alright, terminal round two. Let's fight. Am I in a permanent state of bleeding? Oh, he's thorning! That's why. Oh! Oh, that was so close. Oh, wait, Adam. Oh, I guess it's a different terminal. Or was it always called Adam? The terminal crumbles into dust and blows away in the wind. You have a sneaking suspicion that this isn't the last you've seen of it. Caldor is filled with other dangers of anyway. It is best if you stay alert and look out for any trouble. Yeah, murder the Adam. Uh oh hey. You know, I'll take it. I need that, uh, bonus. So I'm gonna keep uh, making the markets and everything. Oh, whoa, we're getting access to some pretty cool stuff here. And they're all the wrong types. Uh, okay, so... Um, actually, guys, uh, I just got an invite from my friends to actually play Titanfall 2 with them, so... Uh, let me go switch over, because, uh, I actually kind of want to see, uh, 
how well my laptop can handle streaming Titanfall 2. So uh, give me a second real quick and switch over. Because it is the free weekend, and uh, I thought I'd uh, give it a try and stuff, so, so let me go uh, exit out here.